Hi, welcome to my tube. My name's Margie. I'm a health empath. I just like having these little conversations on the way I feel about things, talks. See, I'm getting pretty good about talking about my feelings and emotions because I've had a lot of anger inside of my life. I'm one of those. Oh, you're so mad. Yeah, I am. You want to hear why? This is the first song out of the gate today. See, if I had a desktop and stuff, if I had it how I'd want it, I'd put all these links, you know, so people could, like, make a playlist and listen to the songs that I'm listening to. So you feel the heart speed of where I'm coming from. That'd be cool. One day, yeah. One day. You know. But music is expensive. It's beautiful. I love music, you know. They, they deserve to get paid for their work, you know. That's why I always buy my own music. I used to download. I got towers of discs from, like, early 2000s when you could get, like, like, compressed files like hundreds of songs on one des disc you know they 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 just kept cutting corners and making it giving us less for more costs where we go when we are we go all oh, we're all connected i already dropped the big red truck dude there's a storm that came through salem oregon last night it was wild creek was up to the top up to the top of the mouth of the of the spillway yeah it was wild. You can see, you can see, cause yeah, it w was up that high, cause all the all the stuff that has been overgrown, that the city said they were gonna come back take care of, never did. The whole reason why I don't got wearing water, cause they were watering those for on time sprinklers for years. <laughs> anyway, don't get too focused, Marjo. So it was up top, you know, and it was lightning and thunder, and I was like, man, I've been dancing for rain for days and. Boy, you just came all at once, didn't you? Because I know it just ain't me. Jesse's been dancing for rain. Thanks, Jesse. It's a botar. <laughs> you know, thank you for dancing for rain. I listened to, uh, I just listened to Janie, by, Tarot by Janie. It's Friday something or others for her. <laughs> she and her co-host, Friday co-host. I can't wait to have co host I can't wait to talk to people and ask them questions about stuff, you know. Because people don't ask the questions I want to know about, you know. But today is a good day. Dropped the big red truck off about 7:45 this morning. Walked home in the rain. It was glorious. It was glorious, you know. I called the guy a jerk. I call him a dick is what I call him. And then I was like, I should have said bless you. That's probably the, that's probably what I'm supposed to be saying. God bless you, or you know, acknowledging him in a positive way. Yeah. You know, because justifiable anger is still anger, and that's still going to get me. It's still going to get me Mark's demerits. <laughs> so, uh, uh, unless I get a waiver, and I don't think I get no waiver. Um, so, uh, yeah, he was on a bicycle, and he was a large man. And he was on a bicycle, and I'm a tiny, I'm 5'2", I'm a tiny woman in stature. <laughs> I'm only solid statures, folks. Energetically, poof, um, so he, uh, he was on his bicycle and he was on the, you know, pedestrian side of the street on the sidewalk and he was, and he was on his, and I'm like, uh, and that's the thing is people don't think there's not, you don't, you make way for people. You don't infringe on people's space and that's a controller and that's, you know, that's why we're in the world we get because we have all these evil paradigms. Of, of people, men and women, that sit in these heart space vibrational frequencies that cause them to do great harm. That cause them to do so much harm. Cause them to eat freaking tunnel people, tunnel kids. Do weird things, science weird. Pig nose on people's faces, you know. And, and I know that your spirit, and that's why some people are drawn to that. That's why, it, like, I've unfriended people for having, for, it's like, like I know them, and then they put something like that on their... And I'm like, no, I don't, we're, we ain't in alignment. We ain't in vibrational frequency. We ain't friends, so <laughs> I don't have a lot of friends. I keep cutting away stuff that no longer serves me. <laughs> oh, but the, the connections I'm making on my tube here are freaking wonderful. An angel was sent to me last night. She made a comment on my channel, and I woke, and I was like, because getting Benny to bed at night with his ear, because he, you know, he gets, and, uh, it's just been a nightmare. He has one bad ear that he gets infections in, and Tucker, and it's just always back and forth, always back and forth. And it's and they get stressed, and then I get stressed, and then I get mad because I know, I know it's the food, it's the shit food, and I know that when I get into a better place, that I'll just make their food. You know, 
but I, I, I spend a lot of time researching and stuff like that, but other pe people do the research, and that's why I always put my problems out here so other people can help me in the areas and deficits that I, I lack in. And, and, and this, this, this nice gal, I'm looking for it. See, I moved my eye, but something happened and I, I'm used to mumble mystery, so whenever, muscle memory, and I'm really good at, and, and I get really fast, but then when my apps get moved around, it takes me a few days to get the new print, you know, the new, okay, this is how it is now. So it takes me a little bit longer. Um. Oh, shoot, where to go? But she told me... Oh, I took a picture of it in case that happened. <laughs> Sometimes I plan ahead. Mom used to always say, Are you planned ahead? Have you planned ahead? That was the life lesson learned in planning ahead is because we walked up to the Chevron gas station. We lived in Pine Grove, and it was in the snow. And I didn't, I, I, I didn't, I didn't know about snow. And then, you know, socks get wet. Then you get cold. Oh, it's a nightmare. You got to take care of yourself. But Marsha, Claire, thank you. She she recommends Zymox for this for their ears. So uh, as soon as I get the big red truck back in a couple hours, she's just getting her fuel filter changed. Um, then I'm gonna go up and get some of that, and I will pray and hope that it'll, it, it will ease this the inflammation in their ear that's caused from their freaking crap food. And I buy the I buy the stuff that it's like. Freaking sixty bucks, seventy bucks a bag for freaking twenty-eight pound. Or 30, you know, they're not a huge bag, but I mean, I don't buy them shit food. Taste of the wild, and I go back and forth because it's all about balance, and you know. So sometimes they get the grain, sometimes they get they don't. You know, I mix it up. Too much of any one thing. I used to buy them three different flavors and then rotate their flavors. Because I'm like, if I was a dog, I wouldn't want to eat the same thing every day. And then I'm just, and then things change, you know. <laughs> you got to switch things up and then switch things back. <laughs> so, thank you for the recommendations. I love recommendations. I found I found Janie Tarot by Janie, you know. And, oh, and, and the Tarot by Janie, she was talking about how she was on her talk this morning. It's very, very synchronistic. Because I, I did a, a, a talk the other day about my mom when I was born. How she was um, sterilized without her consent. And now the truths are coming out about sterilization. Yeah. Yeah. See, because I didn't know we were Native American. <laughs> I didn't know we were brown. I just l always looked at my grandmother and she was always seemed fair skin and white. So in my mind, we were and mom was adopted. So there's... It doesn't matter what people think you are. There's no way of, to verify because she's adopted. So you don't. But people judge people by color and can tell about people about color. And when I was a little girl, I couldn't do that so much. You know, I just went by energy. I knew I could always read people's evil energy because um, I was one of those that was taken by an e one of the, a man taken by an evil entity when I was ten months old. So my whole life, and that's why I'm so thrilled about Jesse Zavora and all these other people that are speaking out because I'm like this has been my whole life and people have always said that stuff doesn't happen where to hit the hydration station sister sister Luna sugar hips you a pretty girl you know my whole life has just been all based on shit that is like and, and I never talked about it because you just don't talk about it nobody wants to hear about that stuff you know but it happens to so many people you know that they're really starting to figure out that people are freaking being farmed and stuff like that and eaten and Coming in hot, tut tuts. Coming in hot, mom. Coming in hot, tut tuts. Coming in hot. You coming in, Artie? Artie, you coming in? You're coming in slow as molasses. You're not very hot. 
the wood man. Get on your tuck spot, butts. Sliding into bed base. Handsome dog. 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 There is a dog up at the at the sh at the car place today. Excuse my interruption. I had to tend them all just real quick. Anyway, and uh, they had a dog in the waiting room, and she was really skittish and nervous, and she could see her dad. She was locked out, and her dad was like in the in the in the maintenance area, <laughs> and you could see that that she that, that she was just like real nervous. And I was <laughs> on my way out, a couple large men um, talking. Everybody's bigger than me. I'm only five two. <laughs> And, uh, and I was like, and the dog came up to me and I was like, yeah, I'm like a, I'm like a dog whisperer. I'm a person. I'm just, a, I just pick up on people and stuff, you know, and she comes up to me and I was like, yeah, I said, I got so much PTSD. I got four service dogs. I don't even know how to get them properly documented. Hmm. Huh. I don't know, because the system is just, I can't get people to call me back. It's weird. That's how I always believed in God and divine things, because I'm like, I can't, if anything system-based, if I have to go anywhere where I put my information and somebody's going to call me back, it's because, you know, and I'm an IT professional. I'm an IT specialist. I'm, I'm, my college, I mean, so it's like, it's the human, you're, it's not intended to work. It's tended to absorb funds and then pretend like the organization cares. You ain't never going to get to a person. Social Security? I mean, come on. It's a fucking joke, man. And there's good stuff and bad stuff in every situation. And the thing is, because Janie's... And, cause I, I, I've been telling the story my whole life, and people just ignore me because they just don't fucking want to hear it. They don't want to hear another sad story about how a freaking baby got raped and... You know, their mother was freaking sterilized and they're, you know, but they still managed to freaking slip back up through the cracks of society and, you know, go to the Air Force on like, you know, one of the biggest bases on the world, the Offutt Air Force Base, where she got to flip baby Bush the bird on 9-11, literally did that, you know, because I knew what he was then. Knew then, but I had to go to, had, it was the quickest way. I knew I had to take care of mom when I was getting older. Tick tock. Time's passing. Air Force, college degree, quickest way. Did it. Six years done. Then went on to work at some of the biggest company, headquartered in Omaha, Nebraska, G4S. You know, Creighton University, the Jesuit University. That's how I found about, about the creepy Jesuits. You know, and not all these paradigms are disgusting. It's just that there's just a there's just enough in each group that freaking ruin it for everybody else, and then you and then everybody else thinks it's all bad. Good boy, Benno. Good boy, Benny. Coming in, Benny. Been a coming in hot, Marge. Been a coming in hot. Been a coming in hot. Cuddle buds, bits. I'll get the enzymes today, Benz. The solution, not the cleaner. He said, yeah, Marge. Solution, not the cleaner. That's what I told him last night. I was like, buddy, there's a new solution. And then this morning she left a message saying, get the solution, not the cleaner. And I was like, <laughs> synchronicity. So I called this talk blah, blah, blah. The blah, blah, blahs, because when I was a little girl, that's all I heard from, like, teachers, any, any person of authority. That's how I always saw authority. They just, they didn't care about who you are. You know, and I was always the last in everything. That's how I've always had to learn to be patient. And that's how why I always just sit and watch everything. Because I'm always last. Because I was always the shortest. I was always the poorest. I was always the brownest. I was dirty, you know. A little dirty little tough kid. Mom would try to keep me clean. No, you got to take a bath. got to take... No, I don't want to. I just rather be outside and play. And, blah, and I had so much more energy. And none of the adults wanted me around anyway. I was just... What, what, what do they call... I don't even... I think they call this just retarded back then. I don't even think it was Asperger's or... I prefer spectrometer. I'm full spectrum. I got myself through a whole lot of stuff. You know, I used to have a speech impediment. My name is Monty and my girl. <laughs> you know? And I had so much fear. That's, that's the, I think, the, 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 the best testament to God through all that is I had so much fear. But through all of my fear that I had in my whole entire life... Um, I, I I didn't let it stop me, and I and I went on to succeed in life and and do great things. The thing of it is, is is that's not what I was supposed to be doing. 
there's a course and direction in which life and, and that God wanted a, a, a path that God wanted to put me on and I couldn't do that through my ego and I was talking about that to mom this morning I said mom it's such a blessing that because when I moved here my college degree became obsolete I couldn't get a job because in this you can't you literally cannot get a job anywhere unless you know somebody and they will vouch for you and everybody knows that and I didn't do my due diligence and I didn't I didn't I didn't know that because I came from such you know I, I was I was kind of a medium-sized fish in a in a in a medium-sized pond in in Omaha you know I knew a lot of very influential pe people that have been their families have were in the beginning of establishing that area but just like that there's a lot of freaking darkness in that area and I've always attracted the freaking darkest marauder and evilest moth I freaking I attract evil people because goodness it's full spectrum it's duality because evil wants to take good and good wants you know or light actually I'm it's not good and evil I'm I'm, I'm misspeaking light wants to take dark and dark wants to wait light wants to go into dark and make it lighter and then dark wants to consume the light with this darkness and so that happens with each and every one of us so when I and and when I win and when I moved here I got mad because my ego because I'm like what I can't get a job what you know my car got repoed I only had sixteen hundred dollars left on that and the freaking institution I went through Creighton University I went through them because I work for them, you know, and I kept calling the guy and I'm like, dude, I'm, I'm not paying, you know, I'm not, you know, and I'm like, I know you guys are going to take it. I cleaned it all up. I detailed it out. So when they did come and put it up, it would be in good, you know, the condition that it was when I got it. I love I paid it down like from like almost $18,000 and I only had 16 and they, and so I'm like, like, okay, well, these are the lessons we learn, you know, and then they, and then they, 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 you know take my and then they put a lien on my credit for two thousand dollars so they still want more than what I mean it's just like crazy you know and then so in my mind freaking all Catholics suck you know because if that's the Jesuit you know then if that you know because I'm always drawn to those freaking people that just don't want to help you that they would that money serves them more than they actually serve Lucy Ferry more because money actually matters more than them to them than people's heart space and if they have a place to live people bakers and stuff they don't give a shit they don't care they don't got spirits and souls to be recognized so they don't they don't care they like when there's more homeless because then they're you know when these bad things happen like fires and then their camps can go in and then you have that dark vein the evil people that are farming people and there's thousands of people disappearing 800,000 kids a year you know just falling through the craps but but you know look who's there to help look who's there to help look at the organizations and people are waking up to the organizations and all the democratic party organizations hey we're there here to help we're all these kids oh we don't know oh yeah Nobody should have a server at their own house. That shouldn't be a luxury for anyone. If you're in a pro, if you're, I don't care. And it sucked because when I worked in hospital, that's the thing is I've always been in, I put myself on purpose to work with people at the top. So I would know the heart space of the people at the top and I'd learn who the, who the do-gooders and the evil doers are. And it's, there's not really a whole lot of freaking do-gooders you know at the very very top of you know but 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 God is freaking making a comeback Jesus Christ is making a comeback he actually never left he was all God they that all that has always been here people stepped away into ego towards money property prestige all those things that you know don't you know who I am you know I, I don't give a shit about pro sports I never have I've gone to you know I I had to go along because my dad my brother is there watching their father bonding time you know you know at the Giants game and I think I went to a football game once but I'm just like man all the shit in the world to do sitting here and watching these little clowns I'm supposed to be a clown watching these fools that get paid millions of dollars you know to to to, to play what kids should be doing out in the parks you know, you people, all you people in the stands should be with your kids, letting them play. And so you're watching these grown men make milk, and then these guys are all mad. You know, they're all roided out and 
and testosterone, man, and in the, in the off-season, they're out freaking beating the shit out of their girlfriends and shoot people and living the gangster lifestyle and all these wasting money and all this shit. Feed me, go feed me. That's all Lucifer-y stuff, Lucifer-y stuff. But you gotta love your NFL, go team, right? <laughs> Where's the spirit in that? Everybody has to sacrifice stuff in life, man. So, you know, so, cause, and the reason why I bring this up, because I had a buddy that is real big into NFL. I, I dig the guy, and I, and I appreciate people, their fondness for stuff, but it's just like, put your fondness into more important shit, man. You know? And, and he's, you know, because I made a comment, I'm like, when did, when did, Lu Lucif Lu when did Satan start getting more glorified than God? You know? Halftime shows. You know, concerts. I was a part of it, too. I've been to Lady Gaga concerts. I've since deleted my Lady Gaga off my playlist. You know, but uh, hopefully she'll come back around. But right now, she is in a space of darkness, and she is not working for the light. So I have to cut ties with things that no longer serve me. And, 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 and when I feel bad because I listen to her music, you know, and stuff like that, because, I mean, come on, man. Your 9-11 shit. See, that's the thing is these freaking people, you know, I know more than you, these people. They dabble in this stuff, and this is the stuff that has been my whole entire life. And so you were playing with, see, because I see darkness, I repel. In the name of Jesus Christ, I rebuke you, Satan. I, I, will, I, I, will, I, will, I will, I don't play with that. So anything, because, no. I, it's not, it's, and people think it's cute and Halloween. I remember when I was a little girl in Project City, there was a church across the street from CBI I went to. for, And, and I didn't want to go because I didn't like haunted houses because, dude, my life was already trauma. Why I don't need to be induced scared. You know, I don't need to put in that vibrational for I, I, I'd live there. Even in vitro. <laughs> you know? So there, that church had freaking, you know, a guy, a kid, like 14, 15 laid out, and he had noodles on him with ketchup and stuff, like his entrails. And I'm like, cognitive dissonance. This is a church. I didn't like it. I wanted to go. We didn't even fit. I'm like, no, this is not, you know, this is, this is not, I, this is, this is not the same as the church that I went to in Morro Bay where we freaking drove around in the fire truck and sang Christmas carols. You know what I mean? So. But there's a lot of dark... They've been doing... Dude, mom mom escaped us from Southern California. And the story goes... I remember hearing the adults talk about it when we're not... When we're supposed to be sleeping, you know? And about... Plans about freaking taking us to Montana. I could have been one of those freaking kids that were hunted, man. But I still got the, the vibration because we had to bug out many times because people were after us that wanted to take us away from my mom. Courts. The courts. Yep. It was it was a it was it was a God's gift that mom was able to keep us in in her because I I, I don't want to think about what could have happened if I would have you know, cause, cause my father is the heart space of the man that was the truck driver, and I hear about all things the truck driver. I don't. I, 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 he worked at Tascadero State Middle Hospital, the same hospital they tried to put my mom in years before. Incidentally, you know, the, oh, my whole life, people, and now, and now it's just all you know. So my, I, I got real mad about stuff about my life and the in the direction, and so when I came here. And life got slow. Then I and then I it, it was determined that I was going to be mom's caregiver, and and you know what? Because we we never we never got that mother daughter relationship. We never had it. Because when I was born, they freaking hacked her, cut her uterus in half, took out one of her ovaries. So she couldn't hold me for three days, day threes. Here's you know, and so. All that, you know, people think, what's the matter? Your mom didn't hold you when you were a baby. As a matter of fact, no, bitch. And here's why. You want to sit down here, all the rest of the stuff? Or you want to freaking minimize people's hurts and pains? Or you want to let them uh, acknowledge that the things that they happen in their life are very real, very traumatic, and, and, and we and, and we got to be able to talk about it in order to heal from it? Or else we're going to sit in our anger like a lot of these freaking military and police personnel do because they go out and they see how ugly and terrible people are every day and they can't believe it. And then so they drink and do drugs. Or either they, either they 
they burn themselves out trying to stop it or they become a part of it and then this we have this is the world we get man because more than 51 percent of the earth's population felt lived in ego that at some point money property and prestige came more important than the human being standing next to them even of their own relation bloodline related or not it don't matter a person's a person we all connected we are all connected the cracks of society are only getting wider. And it doesn't really cost a whole lot. I mean, all these developers and shit, it don't cost a whole lot to freaking build the people. You know, buy a freaking couple, a, a few acres, put a bunch of tiny homes on them, and just let people live, man. That's all people want is a place and a roof over their head. That's more, that's what most people just want. That's all I want. I got till October 1, tick tock, tick tock, you know. Uh, but I'm still living in today, the 18th, September. I deal with anger and rage every day because I I have been a fearful being. I've been a fearful, fearful, scared girl, woman, person. Because I haven't had faith. And I forgot that God always carries me. God is always taking care of me. God is always taking care of mom. And, and I was such a div I was a little girl that was just such a faithful person and then I stepped in my ego and I started drinking and I started listening to everybody else I started listening to my brother you got to go to college you got to get a job put mom in a home you need a 401k you know she never you know and the thing of it is is I didn't listen to him because that's all ego stuff I didn't listen to him and now I have a wonderful relationship with my mom and we have a really good time She's like, I see so much of you and me, and you, and I'm like, I see so much of me and you, and, and and I'm like, wait till we get Helly in the mix, man. It'll be cool. So, it's a beautiful day. It is. The storm freaking cleared the smoke and the everything. I mean, it. I'm so tired of smelling like a freaking campfire. You know, it's it's fun for a little by, while, but like I say, any any you know, um. Any, even your favorite thing too much is is a bad thing. It's not good. It's moder everything in moderation and balance, you know. So everything's all wet, and nasty, and I got I had to take a, a trip. That's why I'm doing the the truck stuff. I got to run to the dump, and and everything's all nasty. I'm like, well, you should have done it last. Well, the truck was still iffy, but. See, that's why I don't procrastinate. I try not to procrastinate. And I have a hard time because I can be go, go, go and burn myself out. Because I can be so adamant about things. So I really, really have to be mindful to be in the present moment. And when things come up, do the next right thing. But if I'm too worried about something that hasn't happened yet, or if I'm afraid about or thinking stuck about something that's already happened and I'm worried that it's going to happen again, if I'm worried about anything besides the present moment then that takes God out of the equation because God don't hang out in the past and he don't hang out in the future he only with you right now um because we're all I don't we're all life force energy we're all energy we all have emotions and feelings and a lot of these are related and tied to astrological and energy placements in the sky it's all, you know, the storylines in Greek mythology are playing out in the freaking world today. I mean, look who, look who has, what's his name, Krinos, Krinos in his chart. That dude ate his kids. There, I mean, there's a lot of freaking human, there's a lot of cannibalistic and stuff um, in history and ideology. It's just always, it's what people have done. And But there's modern society and then there's the people that have, well, we just have always done this because that's the way we've always done it. Be wary of those folks. Be wary of those folks. So, the world is waking up to the darkness and what exists, and this has always been in my life. And I appreciate those folks that are verifying the parts of my life that people haven't believed in. You know, and hopefully, other people know that 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 you know maybe hear that you know hear me tell my story, and then if they got stories, they can. I'm not recommending going and putting all your stuff out on YouTube. I'm a little bit different. I'm the same as everyone. We're all connected, but still, I got a little different purpose. I'm, you know, <laughs> Hioka he. So, uh, I, I, I just want to encourage people to, to, to communicate your feelings and your emotions with somebody, anybody. Um, 
and go by heart space and feeling, you know, because I mean, people tell me their whole life story at the at the groceries or you know, and people are just drawn to you, you know. Just get that stuff out of your head because if you don't, that energy is going to fester and it's going to turn to darkness or sickness. Either or. It's going to go turn into low density vibrational things and that is always like darkness or sickness. So either you're going to start hurting people or things or yourself by, you know, bad diet, drinking, what all that, you know, all that stuff. Or, you know, you're going to freaking grow in that vibrational frequency and love and just start living for a better life, man, without trying to hurt yourself or other people. Ego, living in ego is, is, is a torment. It is it is weights of chains on me as living in ego. If when I have to live for my... But it also is a very valuable tool because if I didn't have an ego, I would not be able to do these talks. I would not be able to be willing to go, you know, act a fool. Where, I mean, I, I don't think I act a fool. I just dance wherever I go. In the grocery store, I got my own little dance with my cart. <laughs> my cart is my, my dance partner in the grocery store. I just choreograph everything. I'm just, you know, why, life is just, I've seen the dull and the nasty and the drab, and I just want, I just like living in light is all. That's about all I got for now. Hope you have a rad day. Peace.